Chemical reactions are classified by type. For example, you have a combustion reaction, uh, the burning of a fossil fuel to give carbon dioxide and water, or uh, precipitation reactions, the formation of precipitate from uh, compounds that are dissolved in solution. Another type of important uh, classification is the formation reaction. In particular, this is important for our study of thermodynamics. Um, the definition of a formation reaction is the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements at standard temperature and pressure. For example, the formation of methane gas. The formation reaction would be for one mole of methane so the product is going to be one mole of methane. The reactants are its elements, so carbon, solid at room temperature and pressure, the most stable form is graphite, plus hydrogen gas at room temperature and pressure. Those are the elements, so we write down uh, the one mole of the compound, then the elements, one mole of carbon, one mole of carbon, four moles of hydrogen, so I have to put a two coefficient here to get the four moles of hydrogen. It's an example of a formation reaction. Now formation reactions are important in a thermodynamics because we have uh, can use the change in enthalpy of formation for various compounds to compute the change in enthalpy of a reaction because the change in enthalpy of course is a state function. So by looking at the formation uh, <coughs> change in enthalpy of formation for all the reactants and products we can uh, sum those up to get the heat of reaction or the change in enthalpy of reaction for um, a particular reaction. So we have this tabulated data. The table would look something like this where we have the uh, name of the compound and the change in enthalpy of formation. The lowercase f here indicates um, it's a change in enthalpy for a particular type of reaction, a formation reaction, and the not indicates under standard conditions. And typically the unit is kilojoules per mole and that means per mole of the compound. Per mole reaction, for each reaction, we're going to form one mole of the particular compound. So for example, you could write the formation reaction of ammonia just by looking at the product, one mole of ammonia. You know that it's made from nitrogen gas and uh, hydrogen gas. And then you balance uh, <clears throat> one mole of nitrogen, so it would have to be one half here, and uh, three moles of hydrogen, so we'd have to have a three halves here. So a lot of times in these formation reactions, we'll see fractions um, to balance <clears throat> the elements because we're forcing it to be one mole of the compound. Down here at the very bottom, you could write the um, formation reaction for octane. It's a liquid at room temperature and pressure. And uh, the, it'd be carbon, a solid, in the form of the allotrope graphite, because that's what we find at room temperature and pressure, and hydrogen, <clears throat> gas, and there's 18 moles of hydrogen here and one mole of the octane, so they would put a 9 to balance here and then an 8 to balance here. So those are examples of uh, formation reactions and the accompanying um, change in enthalpy for that particular reaction as written.